Hello, I'm Johnny Rains, a clinical psychologist here at University Hospitals Bristol and Western, and I'm here to welcome you to Living Well with Advanced Cancer, a series of talks for patients with advanced cancer. We've been giving these talks in person for some time, and now we want to make them available online. When people come to the talks, they often bring someone with them, generally a family member or close friend. And they tell us that one of the most useful things about the talks was how coming together opened up important and helpful conversations with their family or friends. So if there is someone who is an important part of your life, you might want to consider watching together. Now, you don't need me to say what an incredibly tough situation it is to be living with advanced cancer. I've had hundreds of conversations with folk in exactly this situation, and I've learned that almost no one feels prepared for this. We all have to work out how we do it once we're in the situation. Good information and well-informed advice can help, and that's what we hope you'll find in these talks. We sometimes refer to this program as adjust, adapt, and plan, because these are three elements that run through all the talks. Adjusting is about looking at the reality of the situation, however much we might want to close our eyes and wish it would go away. Good information can help us see that reality more clearly. Adapting is about changing what and how you do things to better fit that reality. I appreciate that's easy for me to say and incredibly difficult to do in practice. No one chooses to be in this situation. No one wants their life this way. But as a psychologist, I can say that people who do adapt in this way, who adapt what they do to fit the reality better, tend to feel less frustrated, less upset, and report higher quality of life. Finally, planning. So that's about looking ahead a bit to how things may change as the disease progresses and having some information and ideas about what can help so that you do feel a bit better prepared. When we put the program together, we asked patients what they wanted included, and we asked cancer nurses what they thought their patients needed to hear. This gave us the list of topics to include, and then we asked professionals who are expert in these topics to prepare these talks. So we have a talk on managing nutrition from dietitian Joe Porter. This is one that's often of huge interest to family members too. If you're making and preparing meals, you want to feel you've got this right. We have a talk on managing fatigue from occupational therapist Lucy Dormer. We know that fatigue is the single most common problem that patients find affect their quality of life. I give a talk on developing resilience because dealing with the emotional impact can be every bit as tough as dealing with the physical impact. We have a session specifically on planning ahead from our palliative care team. And although that can seem like a worrying topic, actually most folk find that it's nothing like as scary or as difficult to hear as they're expecting and has some really practical things to consider. And we have two talks on community services so that you know what's out there to support you and how you can access those services. One of them's from Jane Beard, and that covers what's available in Bristol, and the other's from Jen Wakefield from Western Hospice, and that covers what's available in Western and North Somerset. It's probably taken a bit of courage to sit down and watch these. That's a great first step in adjusting. We've tried to make the content focused on the positive elements of what will help you deal with this. But these are difficult things to think about. So do take a break from watching it if you need to, come back to it later, or a time when you're feeling in the right frame of mind to take it in. You can watch the talks in any order, and each is designed to stand on its own so that you can pick the topics that are relevant for you. I hope you find the information and ideas helpful. It's a bit like we hope, having an umbrella to take into the rain. Thanks for watching.